What's up my charming people? It's Nikki here. A big hello to all the new subscribers and my old subscribers. Thank you for subscribing to me. You're awesome. You're charming. And in today's video, I'm going to create this Diwali look. And Diwali is around the corner. So I plan to do like a Diwali based look. I know I'm late, but <sighs> better late than never. So I've gone with this gold eye makeup to like match with my dress and I even like added a little bit of brown to it. If you want to know how I got this Diwali look, please continue watching. Yeah. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos. See you guys in my next video. Bye bye. Okay, so first of all, I want to wish all of you guys a happy Diwali. And getting straight into the video, I am starting off with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the shade Ebony. Also, I want to add that I'm defining my brows using an angled brush. Next, using the LA Girl Concealer in the shade Fawn, I'm applying it right underneath and above my brow. The reason I'm doing this is to define my brow more. So basically, it's gonna look like this. Next, I'm priming my face using the LA Girl Pro Prep Primer. Okay, my dad's filming me filming a video. I don't know why he's doing it. Next, I'm going in with this Lotus Eco Stay Foundation. Okay, never miss your neck because you want to match the color of your neck and your face and then I'm going in with this blender and just blending all of it out yay we're done blending so then I'm going in with this concealer from Wet n Wild and just applying it underneath my eye, on my nose bridge, forehead and chin. Applying concealer on your jawline will just define it more and once the concealing part is done I'm using this blender and just blending all of it out. Next I'm going in with this Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Truffle.
by the way guys after each step i am just showing pointless thumbs ups i don't know why now i'm going in with this contour duo by nick ak if that's how they're pronounced i'm just going to apply it right on top of the area where i've contoured Next, I'm using the Beignet Luxury Powder for baking. You want to apply the powder right on top of the places that you have concealed. So basically on the nose bridge, underneath the eye, on the forehead, chin, jawline, you know the drill. And let it just bake for like a good 60 seconds, uh, aka one minute. Meanwhile, you can do whatever you want, like within one minute. Okay, I gotta seriously, seriously stop doing these thumbs ups. And I'm using this e.l.f. blush palette uh, and applying the blush on my cheeks. For today's eye look, I'm using the Morphe palette and I'm using the 350M to begin with. Uh, choosing the orange shade from the last row, if that makes sense. I'm just applying it on my crease and blending it all out. As you guys can see, I'm gradually building up more product and then just keep blending. Using this concealer crayon, uh, it's the PAC concealer crayon, I'm applying it on my eyelid and you want to be very careful here because you don't want it to spread on top of the crease. Using an angled brush, I'm taking more product so I don't get the concealer everywhere. Once I've applied the concealer, I'm going in and again blending my crease so I get this smoked out effect. Then using the Morphe 35F palette, the Fall into Frost palette, I'm choosing this golden golden shade and applying it on top of the concealed area. So once that's done, I'm choosing this black shade from the same palette and applying it on the corner of my eye. One thing you want to make sure is that you want to take very very little product but then yeah, uh, gradually build it up. And then choosing a shimmer shade from the same palette, I'm applying it on my brow bone. By the way guys, for this eye look, I won't be doing any winged liner. I don't know I just feel like this would be good enough so yeah I just don't want to push it okay for my lips I'm starting off with the lip liner from Bojo I think it's in the shade plum then I'm using the matte me liquid lip cream uh, from in color to fill in my lips and I'm doing it using this drugstore brush I wasn't so happy about the lip liner so I had to go in with this matte liquid lipstick from LA Colors. It's in the shade Danger. So what I'm doing is applying it right on top of the lip liner. So that's it for my final look. Once again, I want to wish all of you guys a very very happy Diwali. If you guys enjoyed this look, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Take care. Bye bye.